All right. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. And once again, it's another video coming to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. All praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're in. So um, I'm going to call this video the Gospel according to Bishop Nathaniel. <laughs> and of course, you know, I'm being facetious. And uh, this was uh, inspired by a video I was watching by uh, Elder Apostle Taha entitled Black Christianity is on the Run. And uh, what this has to do with uh, the IUIC and how they uh, pretty much uh, the heads of the IUIC, some of the heads, right along with uh, Bishop Nathaniel, uh, pretty much went down to uh, Geno Jennings Church and set up a camp right right outside of outside of his church, trying to entice him to come out so they could debate him. And uh, that's not according to the scriptures. All right. In other words, um, it's a waste of time because uh, there's certain, the, well, the majority of Israel, the Heavenly Father have set up to be blinded to this truth, blinded to this knowledge. All right. The only ones the Heavenly Father is looking for right now is the elect, members of the elect. Like we've been saying, beginning with Elder Pastor down and down, we've been saying it's all about the elect, the elect, the elect. As a matter of fact, when you read the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, when Yahweh Shai comes back, who is he going to gather? Right? So that's why we say it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time for you to try to shove the understanding of this truth, which, truth be told, the IUIC led by uh, Bishop Nathaniel, they don't have the 100% understanding of this truth. If they did, they wouldn't waste their time setting up these camps outside of these churches. They wouldn't have what they call a, a church blitz movement. That's what I think they call it, a church blitz movement. They wouldn't have that. They would know it's all about the elect. But this proves they don't have the 100% understanding of the scriptures. Like we say at Great Millstone, we have 100% truth. Okay? The things that are, have been revealed to us through the Holy Spirit, we have 100% understanding of. Okay, and we understand it's all about the elect. As a matter of fact, since I said that, let me show you who Yahweh Shai is going to gather when he comes back. Right? This is the book of uh, Matthew, the uh, 24th chapter. As you see here, this is under the subhead in the glorious return, right? Matthew 24 and 30, which says this, Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That, that's one of the titles of Yahweh Shai. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is coming back with destruction as well as salvation. All right. As a matter of fact, a lot of Israelites are going to be killed on the day of the Lord. Okay. That's part of the judgment that Yahweh is bringing through Yahweh Shai. Okay. So this is why it says all the tribes of the earth mourn. Not to mention the other nations. You know, they're, especially the nation of Edom, the Edomites. You go into Isaiah the 63rd chapter, it speaks about that. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? All right, dyed garments is a metaphor for the much bloodshed that Yahweh Shai is going to bring, the slaughter that he's going to bring to the Edomites. Okay, so that's another video for another time. Let's just move on. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth moan. I already explained that. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Those are the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Israel. That's what they're known as. With power and great glory. Now here's the point. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall, be, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. See, that's the key word there. Elect. The chosen. The elect. Now, 
as it is written, many are called, few are chosen, few are chosen. When you go into the Greek word there for chosen, you will see the, the word electos, which that's where you get the word elect from. So it's a waste of time. It's superfluous activity for you to set up a camp and try to shove the understanding of the Bible, which you don't have 100% of anyway, try to shove it down the, uh, the throats of the unlearned. The throats of the ones that are obviously not part of the elect. Okay, it's a waste of time. And these these uh, wacky tacky Christians trapped in these churches, they're not part of the elect, man. Especially when they've seen us out there teaching the word, teaching the gospel. When I say us, meaning us Israelites, and they fan their hand, they make fun. You know, they go right back to eating their abomination, which they allow you to do in these in these churches. You know, because they, they they have a saying in these in these so called churches that the law is done away with. So they don't believe in no dietary law. Alright, anything goes. Do what thou wilt. Right? So for them to believe in that madness, that's proof that they, they're not part of the elect. Okay? Who did the Lord say he's looking for? The ones that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Hey, in these so-called churches, there's a lot of abominations that are being done. All right, homosexuality is being accepted in the church. As a matter of fact, in most cases, the pastor is a homosexual, or at least a bisexual. The, the organ player is a homosexual. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go. So we read the scripture, right? You see the scripture, Matthew 24 and 30. So. When Yahushua comes, he's going to gather his elect, as it says here. And then the Apostle Paul pretty much said the same thing here. Romans, the 11th chapter, beginning at the 7th verse. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? And that's the truth. That's the whole nation, by the way. But the election out of the nation have obtained it. Have obtained what? The truth. The 100% truth. This is why, did not Yahweh Shai mention about the true worshippers? He said the true worshippers, that's who the Heavenly Father is looking for, the true worshippers to worship Him in, in spirit and in truth, as it is written, right? But the election have obtained it, have obtained what? The truth. And the rest were blinded. So guess what? The rest were blinded. Who did the Lord use to blind the other Israelites that He don't want? Guys like Geno Jennings. These different religions, these different so-called churches. The Lord is using that to blind the ones that he don't want. Now, you would think Bishop Nathaniel would know that and understand that. All right. And it's obvious that he doesn't. He's going according to his agenda. This is why I'm going to call the video the, the bishop, the bishop, <laughs> the gospel according to Bishop Nathaniel. That's why I'm going to call it that. He's going according to his agenda. Not Yahweh Bashim Shai's agenda, which he denounced the names anyway. He's going according to his agenda. And you're going to clearly see that in this video. Okay? And I had seen the video, um, the video that um, Elder Apostle made a reaction to. I had seen the video, when was that? Uh, last night? Yeah, last night. Because Elder Apostle Ramab sent me the video. And, and I saw the video last night. And the first thing that came to my mind was, was uh, Bishop Nathaniel is a madman. Then the second thing that came to my mind was the scripture where Yahweh said, let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. He was supposed to leave Geno Jennings alone. All right, he's set up to, he's the blind, set up to lead the blind. And both is going to fall away in that ditch. But again, he doesn't have the 100% understanding. That's that's his problem. I'm talking about uh, Bishop Nathaniel. All right. You know, he, he's denounced the names of the Father and the Son, so come on, it all goes downhill from there, right? Romans 11 and 7 again, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election, there you go. The, the same word we saw in Matthew 24 and 30, when Yahweh Shai returns, to gather his who? His elect. They're also known as the Israel of God. That's in uh, Galatians, which I have the scripture here, Galatians 6. And 17 let me read it to you real quick from henceforth let no man oh is it 16 i'm sorry galatians 6 and 16 
as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of God. Who is the Israel of God? The elect. The same elect Paul is talking about here. Okay, Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And the Heavenly Father is using these different methods to blind them, such as these wacky-tacky churches. Case in point, Geno Jennings and his church. Okay, the Heavenly Father is using that to blind the Israelites he don't want. So at this point, for you to go and set up a camp outside of his church, that, that shows you don't understand the scriptures. And it shows uh, superfluous activity. Okay, it's a waste of time. But let's keep reading. It says, according as it is written, Romans 11 and 8, the Heavenly Father, the Most High Himself, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, have given them the spirit of slumber. See? So you're trying to wake up individuals that, that the Heavenly Father ain't trying to wake up. So you're going against the Heavenly Father. You're kicking against, I'm talking to you, Bishop Nathaniel, you're kicking against the pricks. The same thing Saul tried to do before he was corrected and he became Paul. That's what you're trying to do. You, you, you're kicking against the pricks. You're going against the agenda of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. Right? It says, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber. See, they can't wake up because the Heavenly Father got them blinded. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day, unto this day, unto this very day. What's the date of today? Tuesday, July the 12th, uh, 2022. It's 4.18 p.m. Where, where, where I stay, where I reside, right? Unto this very day, they're blinded, man. The Heavenly Father have blinded them. And then even King David prayed against these uh, Israelites, these wicked Israelites, which a lot of them are caught up in these, these churches. King David said this, And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block. And that's another thing you're going to hear Elder Apostle Tar say, Geno Jennings, Geno Jennings is set up as a stumbling block. So he has to do what he's doing. He was set up to do it. Through the Spirit, and by the so-called white man, he was set up to do what he's doing. Okay, a lot of these so-called pastors, a lot of them are uh, part of the uh, secret societies, man. Such as the Boule. And we know the agenda, don't we? We know the wicked agenda of these secret societies. That's to keep the wicked in power. That's to help them bring their so-called new world order in. That's the agenda. Another uh, example of the agenda is to have everyone electronically tagged. Have everyone C-H-I-P-P-E-D. Okay? So that's the agenda. And a lot of these, these, these so-called pastors are down with it. Google something called uh, the clergy response team. Huh? The clergy response team. I bet you uh, Geno Jennings is part of that. Is part of the clergy response team that the wicked elite are going to send out there to convince the people to take that uh, MOTB. But here you are setting up a camp right outside his, uh, his so-called church trying to convert him. You're a madman, man. <laughs> anyway, Romans 11 and 9, And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. There you go. So they're not going to get the truth. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. See? So without further ado, let's get into it. To say within, within yourselves, we have Abraham to our fathers, for I say unto you that the Most High is able to, of these stones, to raise up children unto Abraham. Okay, I'm not going to read anymore. So... Let me come back over here. So I wouldn't go, I wouldn't confront these churches. These 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 people are set up for destruction, man. Did you hear what Elder Pastor said? These people are set up for destruction. Exactly. They are set up to be destroyed. That's why I read the scriptures about the elect. It's all about the elect. Here's the proof of what um, yeah, the phone had to chime on that one, right? Here's the proof of what Elder Pastor said. 
that they're set up to be destroyed. This is the book of, uh, now you see here the subhead in Isaiah's commission, right? Let's read it, Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. That's the majority of our people. They hear the truth that we're saying. They see they see that we're bringing out the truth, but they don't understand. Okay, they hear and they see, but they don't understand. That's their problem. And why don't they understand? Well, there's a spirit blinding them from understanding because the Heavenly Father don't want them. The only ones he wants right now is the elect. Okay, Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Uh, I mean, you can't get more explicit than that. Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, hear the truth, right? And understand with their heart, meaning their mind, and convert and be healed. So the Heavenly Father don't want them to convert. That's why he blinded them. That's why they're stuck in these, these stupid, wacky-tacky churches. That's why they're stuck listening to a clown like Geno Jennings. And here you come, you think you're going to be the savior of the day. You know, you come, you, Bishop Nathaniel, you come with your, your S on your chest. You're Superman and you're going to save the day. You're wasting your time, man. All right. You're going against the program of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Make the heart. This is why Geno Jennings is set up. Guys, and just not, uh, and not just Geno Jennings, guys like him. Examples like him. These guys are set up to make the heart of this people fat. Let's read it. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their mind or their heart and convert and be healed. So now one has to ask the question, well, how long are they going to be in that state? Well, let's keep reading because the scripture have an answer for that too. Then said I, Lord, how long? How long are they going to be how long is their ears going to be heavy and their eyes are going to be shut? Their spiritual ears and eyes, of course. All right. How long is, is it going to be shut? How long are they going to be without understanding? All right. Well, let's read. And he answered, and this shows you how terrible the Heavenly Father really is. Okay. <laughs> the Heavenly Father, well, he was known as the Alashadja, the demon-like power, the terrible power. This is an example that shows you just how terrible he is, and uh, you know, <laughs> to the ones that he don't want. Now, to the ones that he want, his elect, oh, he's loving. He's, he's ever loving. But to the ones he don't want, pfft. anyway, then said I, Lord, and that's called balance, by the way. I mean, you people out there, you want the Heavenly Father to love everybody. Because you, you go around saying, oh, I love everybody. You're a damn hypocrite and a liar. How the hell can you love everybody? There's nobody on the planet, planet Earth that loves everybody. Okay. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without an inhabitant. And what's going to do that? The nuclear destruction. In, in the, uh, particularly in the case of America, the cities are going to be wasted without an inhabitant. The only ones that's making it out of here particularly in America, also known as Babylon the Great, is the elect. That's it. The one-third, which are collectively known as the elect. Everybody else is going to perish, man. Okay? So it says, until the cities be wasted without an inhabitant. And then I see the, wa the word wasted there. I think of the scripture in Isaiah 54 where the Lord said, you've created the wasted to destroy. What is the wasted? Those nuclear missiles. Okay, again, that's another example of how terrible the Lord really is. Okay, he said he created the waster to destroy. Go read it in Isaiah 54 and 16. Until the cities be wasted without an inhabitant. So a lot of these people, especially trapped up in these different churches, these uh, uh, wacky-tacky Christian churches like Pastor Geno Jennings Church, a lot of them are going to be wasted. They're going to be wasted by those nuclear missiles. Okay along with the chariots of the Lord, because the chariots of the Lord, they're coming to do damage too. Until the cities be wasted without an inhabitant, and the houses without man, notice it says without man. There's going to be a lot of death, man. And this is why Isaiah 66, 15, the slain of the Lord shall be what? Shall be many. That's a future prophecy in Isaiah 66 and 15. And the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So that's the future of America, desolation. So a lot of people are going to be, be put to death, man, when that happens. 
So the, the ones the Lord is gathering right now is, is the elect to save them from that destruction. Okay, that's where the salvation comes in. We, the hopeful elect, are going to be delivered from that destruction. Certain destruction. Let's get back to the video. You know, the Most High deemed, deemed them to be destroyed. Yes, yeah. why the did you hear that? The Most High deemed them to be destroyed. We just read it. Proof positive. Isaiah the sixth chapter. Make the heart of this people fat. Make their ears heavy. Because they're on the list for destruction. And all the camps, it doesn't matter, all the camps that you set up, Bishop Nathaniel, it doesn't matter if you camp in this guy's, in Geno Jennings, in his house, in his bathroom, <laughs> right? Doesn't matter. You're not going to convince him if he's not a member of the elect. Neither are you going to convince any of his followers if they're not members of the elect. It's all about the elect. And this is what you fail to understand. Bishop Nathaniel. Set up stumbling blocks. That's right. Stumbling blocks. That's right. That's all through, throughout the scriptures. Uh, one precept that comes to mind is uh, Romans 11. You can start from the seventh verse. The key point is in the ninth verse. Exactly. And I have it here. Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The election is also known as the Israel of God. And the rest were blinded. And we just read in Isaiah how they, what method the Lord is going to use to blind them, spiritually blinded. Their ears are heavy, they can't hear, and their eyes are shut, they can't see. All right? Uh, it says, uh, according, let me just bump this up here. According as it is written, and we just read an example of where it's written, Isaiah 6, the 6th chapter. According as it is written, the Heavenly Father have given them the spirit of slumber. See? So when you're out there trying to wake up the ones the Heavenly Father don't want, you, you're going against the Heavenly Father. You're going against his program. And there's only one outcome when you do that. That's destruction. It says, The Heavenly Father have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day, unto this very day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare and a trap. Yeah, when they try to get into the truth, they get trapped up. They can't understand it because the Heavenly Father don't want them, man. Remember what John the Baptist said, a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. So you can only receive this truth if Yahweh Bashem Yahushua have given it to you as a gift. Okay, and David said, say if let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. See, there's the key word there. You heard El Elder Apostol mention it, stumbling block. Okay, the, have, has has the Heavenly Father set up stumbling blocks out here? Absolutely. Geno Jennings is set up as a stumbling block. Let me say that again. Geno Jennings is set up as a stumbling block. Again, it is written um, in Job. I have it here. The deceived. Let's read it. Let me just read it. Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So in the case of Geno Jennings, right? This is the subject matter of this video and how IUIC went to his church and set up a camp and all that madness. It says the deceived and the deceiver are his. So Geno Jennings would play the role of the deceiver and his congregation is the deceived. Both are controlled by the Heavenly Father. That's why Job said the deceived and the deceiver are his. So they're deceived because the Heavenly Father wants them to be deceived. And there's nothing that you can do Bishop Nathaniel to change that okay the only way it can change is if they are members of the elect scattered among his church and you don't even teach about the elect anyway so you don't you you are really not the one qualified to really teach Bishop Nathaniel okay it's not just about knowing that you're an Israelite you know it's what it goes deeper than that are you an Israelite of God Galatians 6 and 16. Are you a member of the elect, the hopeful elect? That's the key. Okay. So there you go. So Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So there you go. Let's get back to the video. It speaks about a stumbling block. 
Yeah. Geno Jennings is not speaks about a stumbling block, and I just showed you showed you the scripture. That's what I was going to mention. Let me let me show it to you again. Was that Romans? Yeah, Romans eleven and nine. And David said, "Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way." See. So they 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 totally seal with the spirit of delusion. Nothing but a stumbling block. That's right. Now does he speak truth? He speaks a lot of truth. But does he speak the whole truth? No, he does not. And that's who the heavenly father is looking for. He's looking for someone who knows the whole truth, the true worshipers. Cuz he 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 um accepts Edomites which is clearly you know not in, not in tune with the scriptures that's right so let's let's go on and then these guys are zombies see these guys are just under the order they get their order from gino and gino couldn't with his big mouth he, you mean to tell me he couldn't, he couldn't come out there that's a good point and that shows you and that's why apostar calls this video black Christ christianity is on the run he was running man gino jennings was running because he knows deep down inside, Geno Jennings knows he hasn't he hasn't got the truth. He certainly knows he hasn't got a hundred percent truth. And when he see guys like us, not just IUIC, but guys like us, the Israelites in general, when he see the way we go into the scriptures and we bring out all these precepts, he know he can't hang. Okay? He ain't that stupid. He's stupid, but he ain't that stupid. That's why he didn't come out there and make uh, made a fool out of himself. And then by not, and him by not by him not coming out there and making a fool out of himself, he made a fool out of these IUIC clowns. Okay. Like Elder Pastor said, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't set up a camp and go out there and you know, come on, that's a waste of time, man. Particularly knowing that the Heavenly Father have set up the opposition to be blinded until what? We just read in Isaiah, to be blinded until the destruction comes. Come on, man. But see, that's Bishop Nathaniel. He has his own agenda. Okay? And if I was to set up in front of a church, I will come in peace. I will come, yeah, we come to speak if it's possible. You guys are trying to gangster his church. Yeah, Bible bullies. <laughs> Lord ain't looking for no Bible bullies, man. It's an easy thing. I guess this guy, Bishop Nathaniel, thinks he's the most high. It's an easy thing for the Heavenly Father to wake up his people. Come on, man. There's obviously a reason why the Heavenly Father don't want to wake up these knuckleheads in these so-called churches, man. All we're supposed to do is go on the highways, the byways, teach the word, and that's it, man. We're not, we're not here to, to, to shove the word down everyone's throat. It's all about the elect, okay? And what does it say in Matthew's 10? You know what I'm talking about. Let's listen to a little bit more. And I'm going to say this. There's not going to be... Prove me wrong. I wish I'm wrong. There's not going to be no debate. Gino Jenner is going to run his ass off. He's not going to debate any of the, any of the Hebrew Israelite groups. Yeah, because he, he's not really into the truth. He's into the, the he's into money. He's into having a fancy lifestyle. You know, he's just using the Bible as an avenue to for his hustle. He's all about his hustle. You know, making that paper like they say in the world, making that dollar, making that money so he can live his nice fancy lifestyle. And and the same thing with with his, his deacons that are under him. They're not into the truth, man. Okay, they're not into the truth. All right, their their God, their truth is is the, is the Almighty Dollar. Okay, Esau's dollar. And when they make this MOTB mandatory, you better believe they're gonna take it. Because their their God is a fancy lifestyle. I'm talking about these phonies in these so-called churches. They're not about the truth. As it is written, they're not sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Hell, they're helping the abominations. Do they not accept homosexuals in their church? Well, there you go. 
Anyway, let's move on. He's not going to debate IUIC. He's not going to debate Captain Tazariak of the ISUPK. He's not going to debate, debate anybody from GMS. He's not going to debate, debate any of the major one West, former one West groups. He's not going to debate him because he will lose miserably. And he knows that. So why shove it down his throat? Exactly. Bring meat, bring fruit, meat for repentance. That's what John the Baptist said. He said, bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. These morons in these wacky tacky churches, they're not meat for repentance. That's why they're stuck in these wacky tacky churches, especially these old men. Did not Yahweh Shai say you can't put new wine in an old bottle? <laughs> oh, man. This is not fruit, meat for repentance. These guys are just obeying orders. And we're supposed to leave them guys alone. This is what Yahweh Shai said. This is Matthew 15 and 13. Let's start there. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. The only ones the heavenly Father have planted is the elect. We just read it in Romans. The election have obtained it. The rest were what? Blinded. How long are they going to be blinded till? Till the nuclear destruction. I mean, you can't get more plainer than that, man. Come on. Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. Then he goes on, Yahweh Shai goes on to say this, let them alone, meaning leave them alone. Leave them niggas alone. Don't go in that front of that church and set up a camp and you're going to shove the Bible down their throat. And you're going to make them teach, <laughs> teach that they're Israelites. Man, you're a madman, Nate. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. So they're set up. The Heavenly Father set them up. The Heavenly Father set up the opposition too, man. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Okay? So you let them do what they do. They're set up to they're set up to be the opposition. They're set up to lead the blind. The majority of our people are not going to accept this word. The majority of our people are not going to accept this word. The majority of our people are going to be blinded. Alright? Spiritually blinded until when? Till the missiles come. The destruction comes. It's all about the elect. Let them alone, they be blind, leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So you got to have your blind leaders of the blind out there. Let's go back to the video. Check this being a uh, Filipina coming to the fact that that, that person is Israel, Israel. I didn't see it, it got away. That notification, I got to watch that. But uh, a lot of the Fil Philippines, the people of Thailand, those people of uh, uh, East, the Far East, Asia, a lot of them, Israel. remember, we got Israelites scattered throughout the, in Russia, you got Ru you got Jakes that think that they're actually Russian, that look like Russians. And among them are the elect. That's why we read the scripture. When Yahweh comes, he's going he gonna to do what? gather his elect that are scattered from the four corners of the earth all right that's in matthew 24 and 30. we do it literally all over the planet earth so let's let me, let's let's do a little bit more Hey, this is what Shakespeare called much ado about nothing. Ain't nothing gonna really come out of that. Okay. Look at this guy, man. This guy got a muzzle on his face. Them so-called niggas in the church, they're gone, man. Jeremiah 5 and, and what is that? 5 and 23. These people have a revolting and rebellious heart and they're gone. Jeremiah 5 and 23. That's these people. And apparently, uh, so is uh, Bishop Nathaniel and his crew. They're gone too. I think it's 
We don't we don't know right now. We're in the middle of the right now. We're now. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Superman himself. We can wait for him. Oh boy, this here, here come here come uh, <laughs> Joe Gangster, <laughs> Joe Gangster out of, the, out of the woods. Yeah, right. Be ready. Hey, we we'll wait for him. We we'll wait for him. <laughs> Yo, uh, Nate Bishop Nathan, you going off, man? Big time. You going off? Big time. Read Matthew three again. Give, bring fruit, meat for repentance. And then after you read that Matthew three, read Matthew fifteen. And uh, 14, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. And you can't stop them from falling into the ditch, Bishop Nathaniel. If it's the will of the Lord, who is much greater than you, even though you probably think you're greater than the Lord, you think you're the Lord, right? If he wants them to fall into that ditch, guess where they're going to fall? Right into that ditch. And you can't stop them. Who told you that you would flee from the wrath to come? Exactly. Why would you want to debate people if 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 they're not giving you, you you're giving them their peace and they're not giving you the peace back? It says, "Shake the dust off your feet." That's what it says. It also said, uh, uh, Paul said to Timothy, "Commit thou." Let's bring that in. So that's, <laughs> this guy Nathaniel, man, he going. I guess he's going to do his. He's going to do his tricks. Until Yahabashim uh, Yashai uh, stop him from doing his tricks, you're gonna run out. You're gonna run out of them bags of tricks. You're gonna run out of tricks. His head is right here. Um, <clears throat> this is what the Apostle Paul told Timothy. He said this: Second Timothy two and one. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahabashai. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, did, did he tell, did, did Apostle Paul tell Timothy to just teach anybody? Well, let's see. The same commit thou to faithful men. Yo, these, these morons in these wacky tacky churches, they're not faithful. Okay? The same commit thou to faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others also. That ain't them dudes in these wacky tacky churches. Okay. So we're supposed to do what? We're supposed to commit this knowledge to faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others also. That's what the scriptures say. So this is like I said. This is the gospel according to Bishop Nathaniel. This is and that's what I'm going to call this video. You know I'm going to take. The title from Elder Pastor's words, the, the the gospel according to Bishop Nathaniel. Because he ain't he should he sure ain't following the scriptures. It's his gospel. Now he'll he'll sandwich it with some scriptures, but he but this is his thing. This man can't have this man he has a wife. They had a thing, the house of uh Joel, Captain Joel and his wife. And um if he had another he he fell in love with another woman. He tells his woman, "Look, I got another woman," and she said, oh, "I got no problem with it." Um, Bishop Nathaniel's not going to accept that man because he's a one woman man, and that's totally against the scriptures. A man can have more than one woman. Isaiah four and one comes to mind: seven women shall join one man. And that, and that's there's no law. Where it says you you can't have more than one woman. Our forefathers had more than one woman, more than one wife. Abraham had more than one wife. Uh, uh, Jacob had more than one wife. You can't have more than one woman. He also teaches that the new the, the new moon is the full moon. Yeah, and that's totally off. All right. The reason why it's called a new moon is because at the time it's called a new moon. There is no light. It's just a sliver of light. Okay. The very first day. It's just a sliver of light until you get to the 14th day at evening, which is the 15th day. Then you have something called a full moon. Full of what? Full of light. Then it reverts back to the sliver of light. 
But these clowns don't understand that. Okay? They don't understand the difference between the new moon and the full moon. The Sabbath is Friday, sun down the Saturday, so now we got from the heads, which they got it from the, the, the small heads. Yep, and they teach that. They teach, they have something called the Sabbath service every Saturday. Now, there are times where the Sabbath actually falls Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown. Depends on the new moon. The new moon regulates the Sabbath, not the, sp the so-called days of the week, which ain't in the scriptures, like Friday. But mind you, they'll say to these guys here, uh, Gino Jennings crew, they'll say, well, you guys worship on Sunday. Where is that in the Bible? Or well, you clowns, you, you have a Sabbath service Friday night sundown Saturday morning. Where is that in the Bible? Where is Friday in the Bible? Where is Saturday in the Bible? And now, Elder Pastor, I, I believe he did it in this video. I, I believe he did. But he's done it in other videos where he showed the actual Friday and Sunday in the different versions of the Bible. But that was, like he said, that was conjecture. That was added in there. There's no such thing as, let's put it to you this way. If we were to take a time machine and go back to the time of Yahweh Shai, and Apostle Paul and, and all those those individuals, you would not hear Friday. You would not hear Saturday. Okay? It just didn't exist. Okay? So does he have 100% truth? No. No. This is his gospel. This is what he says. This is the, this is the word of God. You know? <laughs> and these guys blindly follow him. He's still teaching that the, the MOTB is Christianity. And that's and he's gonna eat those words, man. Yep. We want Gino to come on a neutral turn. Because all that hogwash you teaching to black people gotta stop. Yeah that all that hogwash you teaching the black people gotta stop. Again, who are you? He's set up, he's set up by the Heavenly Father to do what he's doing. Bishop Nathaniel, he's one. Let them alone. Yeah? Heed the words of Yahweh Shai. Matthew 15 and 14. Let them alone. They be blind, leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. It's the same concept where Yahweh Shai didn't destroy the Pharisees, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees. He allowed them to do what they were doing. Because they had to fulfill prophecy. A lot of them were the ones that turned against Yahweh Shai. You know? I mean, they were against him from the beginning, but they really turned against him and helped him to be crucified by the Romans. Because Yahweh Shai understood that prophecy have to be fulfilled. That's a, see, that's the thing about this group here. These guys are not into prophecy. They're not prophecy-minded. Had they been prophecy-minded, they would understand, well, you know what? Geno Jennings is set up according to prophecy he's set up to blind these people he's a he's a blind leader of the blind just like Yahweh Shai said and then Yahweh Shai said let them alone but no what do you do you take your minions with you your sycophants right your besotted sycophants <laughs> and they're they're following you you're the Pied Piper and they're following you and you go down to Gino J Jennings church and you set up a camp and make yourselves look like like idiots, like clowns. Let's move on, man. Why has it got to stop? Exactly. The Most High speaks about a stumbling block. The Heavenly Father, he, the Heavenly Father Himself, even set up false prophets, man. Let me show you that. Ezekiel, the Book of Ezekiel, fourteen and nine. If a guy is a false prophet, who set him up? That's the big question. If a guy is a false prophet, who set him up? Well, let's read it. Ezekiel 14 and 9. And if the prophet be deceived, like our boy Geno Jennings, when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. So the Heavenly Father sets up false, false prophets. And he sets them up for his pleasure. And he'll decide when he wants to take them out of commission take them out the frame as as it were put them to rest like it says somewhere in the new testament whose mouths must be stopped 
the heavenly father Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, will decide when their mouths must be stopped not you bishop nathaniel and if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing i the lord have deceived that prophet and i will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people israel there you go so the heavenly father is the one that's going to decide when that guy is going to retire okay that false prophet but till then the heavenly father is going to use him for his means not yours are you speaking like you like like you the heavenly father let's listen to that again you ain't the heavenly father negro what the hell's wrong with you the the noise of some people we want Gino to come on a neutral turf because all our hogwash should be teaching to black people got to stop. You didn't set up Gino. Yahweh Shimei Shai set up Gino to do to to do the tap dancing act that he's doing to deceive the simple minded that follow him. Yahweh Shimei Shai set him up, not you. So who the hell are you to make such an edict? He's got to stop. The best we can do is warn these false prophets, warn them of Im imminent judgment. Okay? But we understand their part in the scheme of things. We understand their part. Okay? Give me the information. Why has it got to stop? Exactly. The Most High speaks about a stumbling block. <laughs> what do what, what you got to stop for? My, oh, my question is who the hell are you? What, are you the most high? Nate? <laughs> are you the son of the most high? It's got to stop. Not even the son of the most high would talk like that. You heard what he said about them wicked Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes. He said, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. He understood the program. He understood prophecy. I, I was going to look up the word doctrine, right? This is not for everybody. The Most High is gathering the elect. He's not. You got to stop teaching black people that. <laughs> the black, the, the people that believe him are, are set, the, the, the Most High set up Gene Jennings in these churches as stumbling blocks. Yeah, and I said that too. Leave them alone, man. They're set up. My 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 thing is this: leave them alone. Let them do their thing. We doing our thing. Let them do their thing. Um, at the end, we'll see who will prevail. Certainly not going to be them. The elect is going to prevail. Come on, man. But this once again proves that Bishop Nathaniel does not know the scriptures. All right. And the Holy Spirit is not working with him. I mean, how much plainer does it have to be? The Holy Spirit is not working with this man. If it was, he wouldn't be involved in such stupid activity like that. Okay. There's a scripture where it says a child left to himself become willful. That's what Bishop Nathaniel, he's a child, man. He's a little child. He doesn't understand the deep aspects of these scriptures. Because had he did, he wouldn't be out there making a fool out of himself, begging. He's like he's kissing. Here it is, this guy, Gino Jennings, doesn't know half the knowledge that you know, Bishop Nathaniel. He doesn't know half the knowledge you know. And here you are out on the street kissing his ass making yourself look like a clown and you're kissing his ass <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I don't gotta do that quoted it you saw the video they were basically they're begging the man to come and speak to them I'm talking about Gino Jennings they were, they were begging him to come and speak to them Come and debate them. It says, if our gospel be, be here, it is here to the net of loss. Exactly. Second Corinthians, I believe that's 4 verse 3. So what's this stuff? You, you, you got to stop. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. I told you the gospel according to Bishop Nathaniel. That's it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Once again, this guy is elevating himself. Because all the hogwash you be teaching to black people got to stop me. What scripture is that? That hogwash that he's teaching to black people got to stop. Where's that in the scriptures? Exactly. 
The only way it's going to stop is if Yahweh Bashim Yahshai wants it to stop, not you. Okay? Read Isaiah 6, verse 9. Yep, Isaiah 6 and 9. We went through it. And when is it going to stop? It's going to stop when the Heavenly Father brings that destruction. Like it says here, until the cities be wasted without an inhabitant. How do you know that the Heavenly Father might not want Geno Jennings to teach his crap until the very day the missiles come? And Yahweh Shai with them chariots. You don't know. But you're going to make a, gr a, a grand edict like, it's got to stop. Come on, man. Talk about a guy who's full of himself. There's a spirit on him to believe this stuff. To, to The most I set up the stumbling block. Exactly. If a, the, the Heavenly Father set up the false prophet and the stumbling block. Ezekiel 14 and 9. Okay. Prophet is deceived. I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. If anybody is deceived, the most I have deceived you. Bingo. All right, so you know what? It's getting a little late. We're at the 50th minute mark. Actually, the 51st minute. I'm going to stop it there. The point has been made. At this point, it's just going to keep going. The point has been made. You can clearly see, and I'm glad we're stopping here so I can show this clown on the on the screen. You can clearly see this guy does not have the Holy Spirit working with him correctly. Okay? And one of his main faux pas, look that word up, one of his, his main faux pas in this clown of a group of his, IUIC, which is a clown group. Let's look at their name, Israel United in Christ. First of all, the elect of the nation of Israel is the ones that's going to be united. When the scriptures say, and he quotes that scripture too to these guys, the, the Geno Jennings uh, guys. He quotes uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1, gather, gather yourselves together, O nation not desire. He don't understand that scripture. It's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel that's going to be gathered together. As a matter of fact, when Yahushua comes, who's he going to gather? Huh? It tells you right there in Matthew 24, he's going to gather his elect. That's the nation not desired that's going to gather the elect. Okay? So that's his main, one of his main faux pas, faux pas is he's not teaching. It's about the elect of the nation of Israel. He believes it's about the nation. We got to raise up the nation. He's one, another one of them clowns that say, we got to build up the nation. Then he'll quote Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together, O nation not desired. The elect itself is a nation, within a nation. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you brothers and you few sisters were edified by this video. So go and check Elder Pastor's video, Black Christianity is on the run. And uh, if there's one thing that I have to say, and even Apostle Tar said it, if there's one thing these clowns, IUIC clowns, prove is that these Christ these so-called Christians like Geno Jennings, they are on the run. Geno Jennings didn't come out there and debate these guys. He can't because he doesn't know the truth. He's not armed like that with the scriptures. He don't know them precepts. All right. But even though these guys know, they know certain scriptures and no precepts, they don't know the full truth because if they did, they wouldn't be out there making a fool out of themselves. So on that note, on to the next one.